Welcome to the GE Modern INU Demo short video presentation. In this presentation, we will cover team members, the problem statement, the constraints and specifications, the impact of COVID-19, a performance summary, challenges, and key design features. The team members are Taylor Hag, the team captain, Addison Jensen, the point of contact, Kyle Schwark, the secretary, Nigel Armstrong, an electrical engineer, and Robert Gardner, a computer engineer. Our faculty advisor is Professor Scott Zeidemann, and our sponsor contact at GE is Matthew Alberta. GE makes an inertial reference unit that provides navigation data to vehicles. The current IRU no longer meets the precision required. Our task is to integrate a new fiber optic gyroscope and GPS receiver to provide more precise navigation data over Victory Protocol communication. Constraints regarding the project involve the handling of information and data. Some data is ITAR sensitive information. The design must minimize size, weight, and power. The design will be powered via a 28 volt DC battery. The design must meet mill specifications for shock, vibration, and temperature. Lastly, the design must output position, navigation, and timing data over Victory Ethernet protocol. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19, all meetings for the project had to be held over Skype. The project scope shrunk to virtual design and documentation only. Building a physical prototype was not possible due to COVID-19 restrictions. Some challenges included handling sensitive data, integration of new and existing systems, software optimization, hardware optimization, and quality documentation. Now let's look at some key design features. J1 Flex PCB serves to connect the system to the outside world. It was redesigned to allow for the Victory Ethernet communication to pass through an Ethernet switch and to fit the new front plate adapter. The daughterboard PCB serves to convert SPI communication from the FPGA into Ethernet communication for output over the Victory data bus. This board is 1.5 by 1.5 inches and is mounted to a 256 pad ball grid array on the existing IRU card provided by GE. The FPGA has three main functions. Firstly, routing a timing signal to the daughterboard. Second, receiving the position, navigation, and timing data from the GE IRU processor and formatting the data into a package. Lastly, sending the packaged PNT data to the daughterboard MCU over SPI. Daughterboard MCU has three primary tasks. Retrieving PNT data from the FPGA, generating a Victory Protocol compliant XML file containing the PNT data, and transmitting this data to the Victory data bus via UDP sockets. The MCU will utilize free RTOS in order to manage these tasks. Usage of the free RTOS also provides the daughterboard MCU with a scheduler, enhanced multi-threading capabilities, and allows for the use of software devices such as semaphores. The mechanical portion of this project was to combine the current top hat assembly shown with a new inertial unit that was chosen by GE. The gray adapter plate shown was designed to allow for these two components to be combined. GE also required that the top hat be able to house either the currently used GPS receiver or a new GPS receiver chosen by GE. This was accomplished by designing the shown GPS adapter brackets above. Fortunately, we were able to complete the design and meet all specifications. Some parts were ordered at GE's discretion and the project provided unique and valuable engineering challenges to the team.